Hello Internet, I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Sublems. We have finished with the sweet and the scary levels, so now it's time to start the chaotic levels. This is where the game gets, well, really chaotic. And level 1, let's get dangerous. Six lemmings, gotta save 100%. This level is really simple, but it's also really awesome. So this is kind of the level where it's like, yeah, if you don't know about the pause button, you're going to have a hard time. And this is also where we're probably going to have to start replaying levels a lot. Ah, no! I forgot. <laughs> they walk off the left edge very, very fast. There we go. See? Huh? I think that's a pretty awesome solution to be perfect, uh, in my personal opinion. Very simple level, but the idea just came to me. I'm like, that would be really cool. And it is. At least, just in my personal opinion. Also, in the original version of, uh, Sublimes, you literally, like, assign that guy a builder and you had one frame to assign him a builder. People didn't really like that, for understandable reasons, so I changed it. These hatches are a bit closer to the wall now, so you've got a little more leeway. And that was a short but a nice introduction to the chaotic levels. Let's see what level 2 is all about. Death chamber, death chamber, death chamber. 100 lemmings, and we can kill 19 of them, and we're gonna have to do that. Let's go. So start building from like right about there. Yeah, so this first part is kind of tricky. You gotta build in just the right spot, and block in just the right spot. But if you can do that, you are good. Now we can blow him up. So basically we don't have the tools necessary to cut through the machine now, so we're just gonna have to brave it. And by doing that, we need to bunch all of the lemmings really close together. Ooh, ooh, ow, ooh, ow! Poor lemmings. And that leaves us with exactly 81, the exact number that we need to save them all. Or to, to beat the level, rapper. Level 3, turn me around. This used to be in scary, and then, basically, long story short, I had to move some stuff around. One lemming, gotta save him. So basically, you've gotta turn this guy around multiple times. To start, have him build... I said, have him build from right about there. Yeah. And this music is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, what the? Okay, I don't like it how it does that. Bash there. You'll hit the arrows and turn around. Made that steel block a little more visible in this version. Just have a mine through, he'll hit the steel and turn around. And the final turnaround is a bit more tricky. You can't build to hit your head against anything, and it's steel, so you can't mine. So the solution is rather simple. Even though this was a mayhem level trick in the original lemmings. Gonna have him build, once he's built a tile, mine. He can mine through the bridge, hit the steel, and turn around. And that's turned me around. I like that level a lot. Lemming divorce. Unfortunately, the lemming romance ended in divorce. Two lemmings, gotta save both of them. And I'm quite proud of this level. It's, it's lemming romance, it's just gnarled and destroyed and ugly now. And also, we only have just enough builders. And 50 bashers, so we're gonna be using those. <laughs> also, same music, it's just now really sad and depressing.
So basically, the goal of this level is to separate these two lemmings. So what we're going to do is have him bash for this. And once he's about to emerge, we want him to mine for all this so he'll fall down there. That'll slow him down for a good bit. I'd say right there is good. Hopefully he doesn't stop mining at that crevice. Good boy. And I must say, I really like this piece of architecture. It literally looks like a claw reaching out to grab someone. And that actually wasn't intentional. That just happened to turn out that way. Also, I added this, so in case your lemming hits his head on that, uh, you can still win the level easily. I miss you, Spacebar. Alright, so this guy is going to have to start bashing for that, because we need to slow him down some more. Once again, bash through pretty much all of it. And then start mining. Mining is very slow, so you want to mine as much as you can. I'm not actually sure if that's going to make it. He still has a lot more bridges. Well, we've got 40 bashers, so... Punch that air. Punch it. Just make sure you're aware of your builder, because the sound of assigning a basher to a basher who is already bashing is the exact same as the sound of the bridge is about to run out. Uh, it's going to be tight. Yes! And that's Lemming Divorce. It's a sad and ugly thing, but... I, I like that level a lot. One of my favorites. Actually, not really. But I do like that level a lot. At level 5, Emerald City. So, I literally made this level purely for the architecture. I was not overly fond of the solution. Other people seem to like it, though, so I'm really happy for that. Four lemmings gotta save them all. And the four lemmings are Dorfy, Scarecrow, Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion. Gonna have to make those two climbers to get over the wall. And I am not a fan of Pokemon at all, but darn it, this music's great. So we only have two minutes, so to get through Emerald City... Have this guy dig, like, right about there. He'll climb up. Once he's dug down, just bash. Mr. Climber will hit his head and turn around. Bash from like right about there, so he can bash for all that. And also, by the way, that structure like literally looks exactly like Emerald City. That took a while to make, but I'm happy with how it turned out. And 12 seconds to spare. Yeah, you'll notice chaotic. There are now pretty strict time limits. Yeah, this is the part of the game where you really have to start being fast. Level 6, an evil recreation. This level got totally changed in version 1.1. 80 lemmings gotta save all of them. Because you'll notice, the arrows are all over the place now. Alright. So right about here. It's where you want this guy to dig. And you want that guy to dig right about there. 
That's kind of the divider between the right facing arrows and the left facing arrows. Once you get to like a low enough point, like say right there, you want to mine. And if you're good, you don't even need that extra digger. Yep, if you do it like that, you don't even need the extra digger. I keep it there because sometimes there'll be the tiniest sliver of land between there. And I just want you to be able to account for that. And I think that level is vastly improved from the previous version. The previous version, it was just an arrow wall pointing to the left. And the intended solution was crazy hard, used a glitch, and was easily backrootable anyways. So, just decided to change that. Level 7, the best laid plans. Alright, so... This level was such a pain to make, because it was originally for Hellish. And the solution was utterly ridiculous. In fact, it was impossible. So I kept trying to change it, and I kept getting frustrated. I didn't like any of them, and finally I settled on this one. Even then, I'm still not overly, overly fond of it, so if you look, exit's missing. I hate... No! I hate it how it does that! It thinks I'm scrolling, but I only have one finger on my trackpad. Yeah, so there's the X there, that's where the exit is. No, I'm getting so sick of that. I think that's like the eighth time it's happened this video alone. What you want to do is have someone bash for that after building to seal the gap. Those four guys are going to be traveling the ground on their own. So basically they're bashing through this. Once they reach the rib cage, you want them to start mining. And now we can build. Like so. Excellent. And now to reach the exit with only diggers. There we go. I think that'll pen them in. And once it reaches about this point, make sure the next lemming digs up here so the lemmings aren't going to splat. Also make sure you dig up. Oh, no, I do not want to do that. Make sure you dig right there so the lemmings don't splat. I'm still not really happy with this level and how it turned out. But it's good enough, and I did want a level that teaches you you can bash with diggers extensively like that. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, and we've got the taunting message. Alright, well... Easy to fix. That stupid lemming wasn't supposed to turn around, so... Doom, 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 doom. I love this song a lot. I couldn't resist having a level called Of Mice and Lambs and then a harder version called The Best Laid Plans. It was just too perfect, you know? Alright. Gotta be smart about this. Alright. Alright, there. That should save everyone. You know, for the considering I'm the guy who made this pack, I'm screwing up a whole lot, aren't I? But time for level eight. Freeze, ya lemmings! I submitted this for the lemmings contest number nine. And got some good feedback on it. I removed the exit over there. I didn't think people would actually try getting to it. Free lemmings gotta save 100%.
This level required a lot of backroot proofing. So basically we have to encapsulate these lemmings in ice. And we can do that with some of our builders. So he's gonna build, he's gonna build there, he's gonna build there. Build, build, build. He can build, and then you can build again, and boom, they're frozen. Now we can just build up to the exit. This was also one of the first levels I made, especially one of the first snow ones. So then we'll have just enough builders to get up there, and then we can use our bashers to remove the lemmings from their ice prison. You can stretch the bridges to give yourself an extra one, but then you won't make it up high enough. Make sure you make the lemmings bash when they're facing to the right. I was wondering if he was going to make it through that ice chunk, but he did. And everyone goes free. Hooray! I do like that level. I haven't really seen that trick used in a whole lot of levels, so that was nice. Level 9, Don't Be Afraid to Improvise. This also underwent quite a few uh, different iterations, and yet people still managed to kind of backroot it. They still need to use the solution, just not nearly to the extent I expected them. 40 lemons gotta save them all. But this level has so boss music. So originally, this rock was not submerged in the ground, it was all the way up. You had to climb up into this tiny little crevice and you had one pixel to bash through. It was crazy, there was a 10 ton weight there, a retractable boulder at the top of this. It was too much. So we've only got one builder. What you're supposed to do is build there. Alright, now it's time to improvise a miner. There we go! And now everybody walks up that makeshift staircase to the exit. Simple level to teach that trick, I like it. And of course that has amazing music. Alright, time for the last level of the day, level 10, and I can't remember what it is. Oh, that's right, this level stinks. Great way to end the level. I honestly do think this level stinks. Because, guess what? It's walking bombing! But the level's also a pun because it's a slice of cheese and those tend to be smell bad. So, there are actually two ways to solve this. If you bomb lemmings literally the instant they appear, you can actually just bomb straight down. But this actually might be harder than the intended solution. It's all about knowing where to bomb. So, let's bomb you like right here. Bomb you like right here. Yeah, see, so we're bombing through the holes right there. All right, now let's get in like right there. Hopefully that's close enough. Oh, that's perfect. All right, now what we want to do is have this guy bomb when he's falling. Have this guy bomb when he's falling as well. Oh, I don't think that's enough. Oh, that's perfect! <laughs> so not only is walking bombing, I'll probably change that for the Neo Lamb excursion, or at the very least put it like in the scary difficulty. I don't know. Just instantaneous bombing is just not that great, you know? For levels where it's like unbelievably precise, sure, I like instantaneous bombing, but for levels like these, instantaneous bombing takes all the fun out of it.
And they do say fun. That level was fun to play. Uh, quite a few of the people, namely Nepster and Iko. Iko. I'm going to be calling him Iko for so long. I don't know why. Nepster and Iko uh, both refused to play that level just because it was all walking bombing. Uh, uh, fine. I respect that. Don't play a level you aren't going to enjoy. But uh, I personally enjoyed that level. Even though it is one of my least favorite levels in Sublims, just because it's all walking bombing. But the fact that it's a cheese wedge and it's a pun, and the fact that I outright tell you that the level stinks, and it's the only level like that, I think it's excusable. So, that's it. Uh, we've done 10 levels today. I think we can leave it off there. I'm Colorful Artie. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.